This is Frank. Frank is a 400 years old coral who lives in the Great Barrier Reef. He is so old that he is surrounded by his grand 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 kids. But what is a coral exactly? Corals like Frank are in a way an animal, a plant and also a rock. The individual animals who form a coral are very similar to jellyfish. The main difference between a jellyfish and a coral is that a coral can produce a skeleton made of limestone, which is slowly laid layer upon layer over many many years. But corals like Frank are more than this. In fact, they are solar powered animals. Instead of solar panels like we use on our houses, corals have microscopic algae living inside their body which harvest the energy of the sun and produce food for the coral in the form of sugar. These algae are what give color to the corals and without algae a coral becomes transparent and appears white because it reveals its limestone skeleton. The relationship between a coral and its algae is so important that without it coral reefs will simply not exist. Going back to Frank, that guy has seen things. He was already a big coral when Captain James Cook passed by his reef in the year 1770. In his 400 years of life, Frank saw the ocean change quite a bit, and not in a good way. Especially in this last century, Frank noticed the ocean getting gradually warmer, dirtier and more acidic. But Frank is big and tough, he dealt with it without major problems. However, things started to get seriously dangerous in the year 1998, with the first event of mass coral bleaching on the Great Barrier Reef. Coral bleaching events are becoming more and more frequent as a result of warming ocean due to our greenhouse gas emissions. Warmer oceans combined with El Niño events cause deadly spike in temperature that exceed the tolerance of corals. If it stays too hot for too long, corals get some sort of a heat stroke and expel the algae they rely on for food and bleach. If it doesn't get any cooler quickly, corals literally starve to death. Frank survived the first two mass coral bleaching events, where many other corals did not, and overall the Great Barrier Reef was able to bounce back. However, in 2016 things got a lot worse. The spike in temperature caused by a strong El Niño was so extreme that it caused the whole northern section of the Great Barrier Reef to bleach. Frank included. Frank tried to fight back and resist, but it was just too hot. Frank passed away. And now, all is left of him is a white skeleton. The once striving and incredibly colorful reef became an eerie landscape of death. Is there a future for Frank grand 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 kids? Will the Great Barrier Reef bounce back? Maybe. If we are lucky, it will, but scientists predict that if the trend of ocean warming continues, these deadly spikes in temperature, like the one that killed Frank, will become the norm by mid-century, and the reef will simply have no time to recover between bleaching events. Can we do something about this? Yes, we actually can. We still have time to avoid the worst climate change scenarios. All we need to do is to reduce carbon emissions. And you can help. I will ask you to do three very simple things. First, you need to know that animal agriculture is a big contributor to climate change. So reducing your meat consumption is the first and easiest thing you can do. Second, drive electric vehicles and use solar energy to power them. Third, vote wisely for political parties that support serious climate policies. The future of the coral reefs of the world is in your hands.